they could have done differently in this case. I think this continues to expose the NFL as it relates to not only handling immediately bringing closure to them, but seeming to drag on and on circumstances and never truly acknowledge the issue or get to the bottom of the problem to create a solution. That's why, yes, when football starts on Sunday, I'm going to be cooking and tailgating and watching football nine, ten hours a day just like you are. Sure. Same on Monday, same on Thursday. But there's a reason why over these last five or six months, we had to reach for NFL top. And the only time we've really talked about the sport is when athletes have put themselves in the list. We have a list of just, just this offseason, since the Super Bowl, this list of players have all been involved in a personal conduct policy violation and all have been violent except for Chad Kelly, which was trespassing. And Kareem Hunt, um, who's going to return later this year with the Browns, a former Kansas City Chief, doesn't list his teammate former teammate Tyreek Hill and Ezekiel Elliott had an incident in the Vegas or parking lot. Ezekiel Elliott. And so, again, the NFL has a bigger ah. issue that they need to get to the bottom of. Concussions, opioids, this level of violence that continues to happen. Awesome. Trying to get these young people some counseling. Trying to get them some support. And for the other side, I must stress this. It's unfortunate that professional leagues have to put themselves in position of the court of law. So now all of a sudden, if you're not published by the court of law and or by society, now as fans, we must look to the NFL to be judge, jury, and executioner for this level of di discipline. Mm -hmm. You would hope that this would come from our system. Exactly. And it, also the fact that it was redacted in the police report, their reasoning for not pressing charges, doesn't help the NFL in their investigation either. It doesn't help us understanding it as fans as well. It's 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 a mess. It's also like an understandable mess that, that is a microcosm that shows in our bigger societal issue that we have with prosecuting and appropriately applying discipline for these things. Absolutely. And I'll never forget reading the Greg Hardy police report and thinking, he didn't get arrested? I mean, it's the, the Greg Hardy case is it's astounding. So, so now... If he isn't punished by the court of law, now we're going to look to NFL, his job, to punish him. Yeah. To me, that's happening in reverse. Yes. But since it does happen that way, I think it's important for the NFL to understand that this is a real epidemic. That they need to try to quell as soon as possible. Well, one of the things that's indicative of sort of some of the trouble that the NFL has in their defense of doing this, being, you know, they're with, with their own investigations outside of law enforcement, is... In the Tyreek Hill case, there's new information. The prosecutor's office cited exemptions to state open records law to deny the NFL information related to the concluded child abuse mm. investigation. So now there's information out there that law enforcement has that the NFL doesn't have, yet the NFL has put themselves in a the position where they also have to investigate and discipline players outside of the law, law enforcement. And, and that goes back to what I'm saying. Like, you would hope that these individuals will work in concert, mm -hmm. that law enforcement would actually work with the NFL and get to a resolution that doesn't Quite. It, it doesn't escape what the person did and it doesn't take away from the fact that probably in most of these cases they harm someone else and that person has to live with the effects of this for years to come, if not forever. You would hope that even though the NFL doesn't have subpoena power, because that's basically what you just described to me, yep. that they could work together to find a way to at least acknowledge the information readily that took place. That each had. Yes. That, 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 that would seem like basic service. But with justice, with every, each yes. of them trying to apply justice in and, both and, cases. But, but because the goal should be to make sure you get justice for the victim. That's the only reason why we're talking about this. Mm -hmm. I'm not even talking about this based on the football players. I'm talking about this based on the victims. And they should be garnered some level of justice that it seems like they probably didn't get from the court of law. And unfortunately, they're not getting from the NFL. We've got footage of a seven-year-old doing something with a baseball glove that I promise you, you cannot baseball do. Thing. I promise you, you cannot yes, do this. We'll show you the footage right after this. <laughs>